Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Vincent and this is a short tutorial about particle stuff in the new Simo 4D. And it's a lot of fun, so let's directly get started. And I was a bit inspired by Dune with these little sandworms here. And the setup is quite easy and it's super much fun to play around with Predator and Prey. And this 4 is a quite basic setup, so let's start with a basic emitter. The emitter is going to be a circle, then we will emit... It just one shot and let's start with 10,000 particles. It shouldn't have any speed and I want to have a random color. So let's just quickly load a preset. Let's make it sand colored like this one perhaps. Looking good so far. Color wise I think black is too much. Let's make the black color a little bit brighter. Then let's rename this emitter and this is going to be our prey. And now we want to create a predator. I'll call this predator emitter and predator group. And this group should be be also a circle and it should have zero speed and let's make them i don't know and i only want to have a shot of let's say 40 let's press play and see now as the next thing i want to change the visibility of this group so i will make the blue ones bigger um something like this so we can see the predator and the prey better then as the next thing you can see that I have all my thingies here on the left and I just need to create the predator prey effect. Let's quickly assign the group. So the predator group, prey group, and let's see what's happening on the So this is already quite nice. And what's happening? The predator, this group is trying to catch all the particles in the other group. And we can play around a lot with these values. So I don't know, I don't want them to be so fast. I want the predator to search in a small radius of just two centimeters and the flea ones they can only flee like a very little bit so let's make the flea radius very small and let's see how that looks and there was still too much motion so let's make the flea strength also smaller and uh, perhaps the flea radius goes back to one and let's see how that looks and this is already pretty good i think the fleeing ones are still moving a little bit too much and i think also we need more prey to see better so let's make it 50,000 500,000 particles in the group i will also make them a little bit bigger so they're better to see and now we are seeing overall it's already pretty good but i would say the predator can move a little bit faster so we increase the strength to three and the pursue strength to two as well and perhaps even the radius is smaller but they are more aggressively moving around now this is nice but what i visually don't like is that all the particles are flying around and we can avoid this by changing the contact behavior to kill so now if the predator hits one particle it's going to be killed and let's see how that looks so way fewer particles are flying around now but still quite some so let's try to increase the contact radius to 100%. See if it looks better. And I think it's a bit better. And yeah, at this point, it's really just tweaking the number. So I don't know, making all the values a little bit different to see if we will find something more interesting. Yeah, I think this, this is nice. It moves quite fastly now. This is cool. But I perhaps want to add one more thing. Um, I want to add more go to force and I want to add more friction because I don't put the friction in a group. It's on everything, but I only want the prey to be more friction. So let's try a strength of 50 and see if the particles are moving slower. Let's try 200, 2000. Yeah, with this is even a little bit too much. Let's try 1000. And now the prey particle is really moving only very little. Uh, they're just moving to the side a bit. And I think this looks really nice. For the look, you could also then try to go into the prey, uh, the predator emitter go to emission and let's say we want a constant birth rate of four so we only start with very little and it gets more and more and it takes too long for my taste so let's make it six and go into the prey and let's make the strengths back to three so they can move are they moving faster not sure go back to two not the biggest visual difference but i like the look of it it looks like like warmth going through wood or some infection and it's definitely so much fun to play around and then what i did as well is to select the predator group and then go for tracer and in the tracer we already now have the predator group and the tracer is just blind so i'll go for blind 
strip spline and the radius should be 0.5 and let's see if we got there let's make it a little bigger 0.7 and i want to taper to the end so in the tracer we go to details and then to scale and i scaled down the wrong side so this side here it's a bit of a curve so this looks nice for me i quickly change my view into wireframe to see how detailed the worms are i think a cap would be nice point three perhaps let's make the visibility also blueish and give it a quick save back to frame zero now we have some nice worms going down yeah and this is already a tutorial so this was at least one fast thing but it's definitely so much fun to play around with predator and prey so for this one i say goodbye and have a good time and see you around ciao